Hello and welcome to my channel. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Please subscribe to this channel and also click the little bell to be notified every time I upload. Thank you for watching. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new then you're very welcome. I hope you enjoy your time with us here. If you're a returning viewer then thank you very much for coming back. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe at the end if you've enjoyed it. This week what we're going to do is have a little look at jackets and coats in my collection because um, I don't know where you are but here in the south of England it's got quite what we call nippy. There's a nasty bite to the wind that tells you that autumn is certainly on the way the celebration of Mabon, the autumn equinox has just gone past so the year is definitely turning. Um, I hope you enjoy this video there's about seven or eight jackets and coats for you to have a look at so do please keep on watching. So this is okay it's a hoodie it's not really a jacket um, but it's one of my favourite things for wearing outside and I'll show you why. There we go. It's my Charlie Parker hoodie and Charlie Parker is my favourite fictional character and he's in all the books by John Connolly when he's writing about um, the I was going to say supernatural detective agency but that makes it sound really silly and cartoony it's not like that at all it's um very adult it's very deep it's um well it's been 20 years of books and that just tells you everything you need to know John Connolly is a lovely, lovely, lovely man. I've met him on a number of occasions and he's always been so sweet. And he came down to a book launch and gave me a tote bag. And this back of this hoodie is one half of the tote bag. It's just a six pound hoodie from Primark, but I think it looks pretty cool when you're walking along and people, ooh, Charlie Parker investigations. Anyway, I'll show you the other side of the tote bag in a moment. And this is the other side. Another Primark jacket, black denim, a couple of badges, but very, very cool on the back, I think you'll agree. So that's my John Connolly, Charlie Parker jackets. This is one of my favorite jackets that I've ever had in my whole life. I got it from Camden Market when it used to be there, not down by the locks, but the other market that was just market stalls, which I don't think is there anymore. I think they've made way for some sort of modern building something. Anyway, I got it in there. This is it. It's sort of gothy, new romantic y. It's got that nice bodicey lace up bit at the back. I think I've put new ribbon in it over the years. I must have had this jacket, well, over 15 years, definitely. Um, I've had to change the buttons. I've put my favourite brooches on it, obviously. Little skulls here. But, and sometimes I think, well, it is a little bit on the snug side. But it's my most favourite jacket and I do love it. This is a charity shop find jacket. Um, it's quite sort of like that. And it's by a brand called Voodoo Dolls. And it's got a big heart on the shoulder 
And I just saw it one day when I was browsing through charity shop and I thought, well, that's quite nice. It's got pockets, which is good. It's quite warm. It's got fleecy on the inside. So what I did was put, obviously, a pentagram charm on the zip, put a little moon brooch here. It's got a hood, but what I also did was sew a patch on the back. I sent off on Etsy for a Fields of the Nephilim patch, got it, sewed it on. That's all there is to it. And it's quite a sort of good, light transition, not that cold. It's not waterproof, so you can't wear it in the rain, but that's okay. And it's got a hood so that when my bald head at the back is cold, I can put it up. So less jacket, more sort of coat this time. And this is yet another upcycled job. Um, all the pentagram charms are stuck onto buttons on the sleeves. I'll sh just show you the back. So I've changed all the buttons, put that lovely chain on the back, changed these buttons as well. I've got a beautiful spider brooch here and it's got more charms on the zip pockets. These are not real pockets here, these are just flaps. And this is a sort of, it's not freezing, but you could wear this. I mean, I used to wear this to work all winter last year. Um, if you're going on public transport, on the bus, on the train, it's quite warm enough for that. And I think it's very smart. So, my smart upcycled work coat. Well, this is a bit of a spectacular coat. This is by Dark in Love, and well, I'm in love with it. It's asymmetrical, as you can see, it doesn't do up at all below the waist. It's sort of like a faux distressed leather. It's really, really soft. Um, it's not waterproof. It's got like a satiny lining to it, black. It's got a zip all the way up, which I had to have readjusted by some very lovely ladies at our local dry cleaners. Because every time I wore it, I would do it up breathe and it would just burst open and I thought I was going to have to get a new zip put in but she said no it was just like needed rejiggling about so she did that for me it's got this fabulous fabulous belt which I love the only thing about it is it's got no belt loops so when you take it off at the beginning of the day if you're going to work or wherever you've got to be careful that you keep the belt with it because otherwise I mean you definitely lose it and the belt goes round and there's a little buckly bit there but yeah dark in love coat I always feel like I don't know I'm setting off on some sort of um, mission or quest every time I wear this that I should have a big sword that I can draw out or a bow and arrow or something very mystical like that but yeah dark in love coat I'll turn around for you It's a great coat. And this is my raincoat. My husband bought this for me last year. It's by a company actually called Rains, and he got it for me in Harvey Nichols. And I just love it. It's got like a rainbow, I don't know if it'll come across on camera or not, but it's got a rainbow sheen all through it. So when the sun hits it or when the light hits it, all you get is these lovely sort of oil on water rainbow colours. As you can see, it's got pockets, it's completely waterproof, and it's got poppers down to about just above my knee. It's beautiful. I love it. The only thing is I wish it had a little sort of 
something to do it up there, but I'm sure I can sort something out about that. But if you wear a scarf, it doesn't really matter. It's if you haven't got a scarf, it can blow open. And But it's just a gorgeous raincoat. My Harvey Nichols raincoat. And finally, the big furry coat. I must have had this coat nearly 20 years, I suppose. My husband bought it for me when we first moved down to Brighton, so probably over 20 years. Um, black, furry, big, very, very warm and cosy, so much so that, well, the winters we get these days, I don't get to wear it very much. But if it's a really cold, frosty, crisp, sunny, bright day, I'll wear this coat and it always gets lots of compliments. It's a big glittery spider brooch that I made. So I'm going to do close-ups of all the little bits and bobs on these coats, but the big furry coat, you could probably live in it. So that's my jacket and coat collection. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up, please subscribe. And all I can say is thank you ever so much for watching. Please stay safe, please stay strange. Come back next time. Bye for now.